Hi everybody, you may have seen me review this Oasis Y1 in a previous video. The printing is a little small, but if you look in the system about box, you can see that this is software revision 1.9.1. This Y1 arrived in the mail today and it is at system revision 2.0.2. What has changed? In system 1.9.1, if you go in the settings menu, under the equalizer button there is a sort by option. The default is name A to Z, Z to A, time, time reversal, and then back to A to Z. In system 2.0.2, .2, that menu option is completely gone. The default option is now the only option, and that is sorting alphabetically. Before we go any further, I just want to emphasize that on this Y1, I have FLAC files. On my new Y1, I have MP3 files. There are going to be some differences because of that, but that's not what I'm highlighting today. This is the now playing screen for system 1.9.1. As you can see, there is the album art here. There is a musical note superimposed on top of the album art. And then the album art is used again as wallpaper underneath the track information. What I didn't like about this is depending upon the album art, the track information was really difficult to read. And I, I just would rather it didn't have it at all. This is the now playing screen for System 2.0.2. .2. As you can see, the album art is featured predominantly in the screen. The wallpaper is now the system wallpaper, and it's much easier to read the track information on top. And the track information is actually larger. So if your eyes are not as good as they used to be, you should have less trouble reading this. Another thing that I wanted to point out is that I've been using and abusing this Y1 for the past seven months, and the screen still looks really good. I have no screen protector. I have no case for this. So that should give you some indication of the performance you can expect from your Y1. Any Oasis calls this color green. You may have a different opinion, but we're going to go with green because that is official. The green version of the Y1, to me, looks physically larger than the black version. But if you hold them right on top of each other, they are exactly the same in every dimension. So if you did happen to find a case for this thing and you like it and you want to continue using it, then it will fit the 2.0.2 .2 version just as well as it fit the 1.9.1 version. As far as I can tell, those are the only differences. I don't know if the green existed when I got the black Y1, but I do like the green. If you haven't seen my earlier Y1 review, know that this is the rebirth of the Apple click wheel. It is, as far as I can tell, functionally identical. What makes the click wheel so good? I honestly don't know if it's just what I'm used to or if it is actually superior. But to move up and down the menu, you go around in a circle. And to make a menu selection, you press the center. When you are on the now playing screen, it does appear to function like every other modern MP3 player on the planet today. It's play, pause, previous track, next track, go to the previous menu. But don't forget about that click wheel where you can change the volume. And when you are scrolling through your songs, you're using the click wheel. Does the Any Oasis Y1 function identically to the Apple iPod of yesteryear? No, in one important way. You cannot synchronize your music library with iTunes. As far as I can tell, the only way to get music on your Any Oasis Y1 is to attach it to your PC and have it appear as an external drive. From that point, you navigate to the Y1's music folder and drag and drop your songs from the PC to the Y1. There is a specific folder for audiobooks in the Y1's file system. If you have audiobooks in that folder, it does support bookmarking. I don't recall if the Apple iPod supported FM radio or not, but the Any Oasis Y1 does. You do need to use wired headphones, or you can use Bluetooth headphones if you have a 3.5mm cable of some sort attached to the headphone jack. 
a feature I know for sure wasn't on the Apple iPod Classic was Bluetooth. And I have successfully used that function on the Inny Oasis Y1 with earbuds, with my home stereo receiver, and a portable speaker. My favorite feature was and continues to be the shuffle play option. Load the Inny Oasis Y1 with 128 gig of your favorite music, hit shuffle play, and enjoy random infinite playback. Any Oasis is not targeting the Y1 toward the audiophile market. This is not a competition grade digital to audio converter. This is a usability dream come true. If you look at the Any Oasis Y1 and it brings back a sense of nostalgia, yes, this is probably the device for you. And it comes with a decent set of headphones too. If you already have system 1.9.1, do you really need to upgrade? That's up to you. But I love being able to read the track information. The Any Oasis Y1, the best just got better. Five out of five. Thanks for stopping by.